This episode of Chat Chow is sponsored by Mercy, a hangover prevention, miracle in a canned beverage. Stay tuned to watch Mercy's alchemist Alex Ott make the lucid dream at Vita by Baoli. Learn more about Mercy at drinkmercy.com. Welcome to Chat Chow, an online weekly show interviewing South Florida's food personalities. On today's episode, we'll be speaking with Rachel Dominguez, owner of The Dome, here on Miracle Mile. Best sellers are the Miami Heat and the okay. Raquelita. Okay, so I have the Miami Heat and you have the Raquelita. Yes. All right. Let's taste them Absolutely. really quickly. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. You have an interesting background. You're Russian Cuban yes. of heritage. So how has that influenced your concept here? What well, I think it's very Miami. Miami's such a melting pot. And everybody comes from somewhere else. Right. So I think I'm pretty a good, repre good representation of Miami at the moment. Um, and the Cuban Russian, is, it's, the restaurant is like part of my heritage. You know, I, we have a very Caribbean Cuban cuisine and, I've, and I have the caviar, which is very Russian. And I just kind of made a fusion with my chef and try to create just who I am as a person and what I grew up with here in Miami, eating and drinking. So it's safe to say, you guys, it's a unique concept because you're the only caviar bar in Miami, right? Or South Florida? Yes. Um, currently, we're the only caviar bar in South Florida, which means that we offer a variety of caviars. I mean, there are restaurants that order maybe one or two caviars, but you can't really call yourself a caviar bar unless you're offering a large variety. And we also incorporate caviar in some of our entrees and our plates. And I think it's really interesting. Um, one of them, for example, which is like a real Cuban-Russian infusion, is our yuca croquetas. Um, typically, Russians will eat caviar on potato pancakes. So I wanted to find something that was Latin, very similar to a potato. Um, even though caviar, uh, yuca is a root, um, it tastes very similar to potato. And the yuca croquetas and um, caviar have been a real big hit here at the Dome. And how many, so how many varieties of caviar do you guys offer? I offer seven of my personal favorite caviars. I noticed that. They are, they're branded Dome yes. caviars, which yes, is Yes, I created cool. a, a branding and a labeling for my, the specific caviars that I picked. Um, I've traveled around the world researching it, and um, I'm really happy with what we're serving That's here That's so dome. interesting. Now, for somebody like me, I'm a little intimidated by caviar. What would you suggest for somebody who might come here and say, oh, what a cool concept, but I don't know anything about caviar? Exactly. Well, um, it's really interesting because <laughs> a lot of people, I mean, we've had all types of people here at the Dome, people who are connoisseurs, and we've had newbies like you right. who have never had it before. <laughs> My favorite moment at the dome was when I saw two people sitting outside in their sweatpants eating three different types of caviar with their dog and I just thought that was so cool. That is because cool. Because people actually feel comfortable enough to have it any time of the day. It's a wonderful food and if you're new, all my staff is trained. We'll start you on one that maybe is not so expensive. They're all really good quality but they'll make you feel comfortable and if you're not ready for the platter, you can always try one of our small plates to have a little bit of caviar on it or, just to try it out. Right, even on the, uh, the yuca yeah, croquetas. The croquetas yeah, the croquetas, you have some oysters with caviar, I mean, we have a large variety here. And something that's also really cool are your iPad menus. Um, yeah. they're, they're interactive and they're just so unique. Is this your own platform that you guys developed? Yes. Or? Um, I, I worked with White Space Designs. Uh -huh. um, we took us a, over a year to develop. Wow. Um, you'll never see a menu like this um, in this format. And we're really excited about it because it comes in five different languages. I wanted it to be an international restaurant where anybody would feel at home. And to see your own language sometimes makes you feel really comfortable. Now, you also have art, fantastic art on the walls. Is that for sale? Does it change? What's yes, the art, the art on the wall is my personal collection, but okay. I'm also selling it and also will be rotating artists. Um, I'm really proud of um, David Siqueiros. He has an amazing collection of Andy Warhol. It's one of the last photographs of Andy Warhol before he passed away. Wow. When he's with the models of uh, the Chanel model and the Ralph Lauren model of 1984. <laughs> Um, it's like an 80s flashback, it's really cool. <laughs> and they've been an archive for like 18 years and he just came out with it this year for our Basel and I'm really proud and honored that he um, allowed us to have it here at the Dome on, on, on site. 
Let's talk about some other dishes. What are some of the other fantastic dishes that you guys offer? Well, I'm really excited um, about my executive chef, Marsha Roscoe. She's absolutely amazing. She's worked at Norman. She's the first executive chef for Morton's. She was season 52, executive chef for Oak Council Holloway. She's an amazing resume. And one of her signature dishes is the short ribs. Mm. They're absolutely to die for. They fall off the bone, and we sell out of them every night. And I always encourage somebody coming to the Dome for the first time to try that particular entree. We were here on the weekend, and you had live music. You had a DJ. Does that always happen? Is that only on the weekends? Yes, we typically do it Friday and Saturday night. Um, we are open till 2 a.m. Oh. Because of Coral Gables rules, we have to close at 2. <laughs> if not, I'd be probably going to like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. Um, but that's what we do, and I think it's great. I mean, the Gables doesn't really have like a nightlife, and it's nice to offer something different. Definitely. Well, yeah. thank you so much for being on the show. Absolutely. I feel like now you need to chug because you Absolutely. didn't have a chug, chance chug. to sip. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Hello, my name is Alex Ott. I am Mercy's Mixologist, and I'm here today to show you how to make the Lucid Dream. Uh, for that, you need five raspberries. You muddle them with a muddle stick. The bigger, the better. Add about an ounce and a half of cranberry juice. One and a half ounces of sweetened chamomile tea. A tiny splash of fresh lemon an ounce and a half of rum. We'll shake the whole thing and pour it into a cognac snifter. So our garnish for this beautiful cocktail will be a rose petal, but before we put the rose petal in it, we float it with an ounce and a half of our magical healthy hangover prevention, Mercy. This is the lucid dream. Cheers.